So players weekend starts tomorrow. The Tigers and the White Sox, they got to start a little earlier today. They put on their players weekend jerseys for their games today. And of course we had the Mets and the Phillies who played in the Little League game kind of kickstarting everything. But it officially starts tomorrow. For those of you who don't know, players weekend is this really cool thing that they've started in the MLB starting last year where the players get to wear different jerseys inspired by Little League uniforms and they get to put whatever name they want on the back. This is an absolutely fantastic idea by MLB. It's carried out very well and I wish that they would do more fun stuff like this. They always talk about how they want to get the younger generation involved. They want to get more people watching the sport, doing these kinds of things, giving players personalities, having some fun, not being the boring old baseball that a lot of people claim it is. This is one way to get those ratings up. This is really cool stuff. Now, since the players can put whatever name they want on the back of their jerseys, this then leads to what are the best names on the backs of these player weekend jerseys. So that's exactly what I'm going to do for this video. I'm going to give you my top 10 favorite player weekend jerseys with the names on the back and we're going to see what you guys think. I also want to give a quick shout out to a very small baseball channel here on YouTube who actually did this before I did. I got the idea from him, so I'm going to give him credit. He's got a very small amount of subscribers, and I think we could help him out a lot. His channel is Baseball Talk with Nick Morgan. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description down below. Go over there, show some support, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Let's try to double his sub count. I think he's at like 45. Let's at least get him to 100 after this video. I know for me as a 22-year-old college student, I want to go out and buy these player weekend jerseys. They're absolutely sick. So I can't imagine being a younger kid being like, Dad, I want this jersey badly. I mean, they look so cool. What a good idea by MLB. If you guys do like this video, it would be greatly appreciated by me if you do leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. We just hit 28k subs today, so I do thank you guys for that on our way to 30. And get in the comment section down below. Let me know what your favorite player weekend jersey is, because I'm sure that some of you are going to disagree with me. That's, that's not something I'm unfamiliar with on this channel. Now, before we get going into my top 10, I am going to give some honorable mentions. Some of the names and players that get on my honorable mentions list. Garrett Cole with Coltrane. Jake Marisnik and Austin Davis, both with Big Fudge, Sean Manaya with a Maniolator, Josh Fegley with PTBNL, which is player to be named later, Lorenzo Kane with Low Kane, Yasmani Grandal with the Yasmanian Devil, Danny Duffy with Chill Sergeant, as well as Hunter Pence with Underpants. But let's be honest, you guys don't care about the honorable mentions. You want to see the top 10 best names on Player Weekend jerseys. So let's get going into it with number 10. Now, number 10 is a little bit different because it does involve two players, so that's why I put it at number 10, but I really like what these two players on the Philadelphia Phillies did. So on the back of Reese Hoskins' jersey, it says Big fella and then Tommy Hunter on the back of his put bigger fella. Personally, I think it's so clever. Very clever by Tommy Hunter. He is a very large dude and so is Reese Hoskins, but he's just one up in him a little bit. And I think that's pretty funny stuff. That's why it comes in number 10 for me. Number nine might surprise some people. He's a player for the Boston Red Sox. He is indeed their closer, Craig Kimbrell. Now the name that he's putting on the back of his jersey is Dirty Craig. Now I understand why he's putting Dirty Craig. I don't think he's going the, the dirty mindset here. He's got filthy stuff. He's got dirty stuff. He's, he's a good pitcher. But for me, what clicks in my mind immediately, and I don't know if you guys have seen this movie, but the other guys, Dirty Mike and the boys. Hey, are you Dirty Mike and the boys? How do you know who we are? You left a note in that car. I immediately think of that when I hear Dirty Craig. That's why Dirty Craig gets number nine on my list. Coming in at number eight is another relief pitcher. The relief pitchers really did a fantastic job with the Players Weekend jerseys. But coming in at number eight is going to be Brad Hand of the Cleveland Indians. On the back of Brad Hand's jersey is Protein Shake. Now, I don't understand the, the backstory to this name. I don't get it, but I like it. I don't know why, but it makes me think of like those Planet Fitness commercials. It might have nothing to do with it, but I feel like they maybe said protein shake in there once or something with bro and combining another word. Regardless, I'm a big fan of this name and it looks great on the back of a jersey. I told you that the relievers did a fantastic job. So coming in at number seven, we have another relief pitcher, Paul Fry of the Baltimore Orioles. On the back of Paul Fry's jersey, it reads none other than Papa Frita. Now, for those of you who don't speak Spanish, that's essentially saying French fry or more literal translation, fried potato. Of course, Paul Fry, last name Fry, like a French fry, which is a fried potato. I think I think this is absolutely brilliant. I love it. And that's why it comes in at number seven for me on this list. I, I, that's a great, it looks great on the back of a jersey. Plus that Orioles player weekend jersey. It's nice. Coming in at number six, honestly, this one could have gone a bit higher. It is one of the more popular names of people's favorites on the player weekend jersey, but that's going to be the legend himself, Joey Gallo. Now on the back of Joey Gallo's jersey, it's pretty funny. He's going a little play on words here. He's going with Pico de Gallo. Again, a little bit of Spanish in this one here, but Pico de Gallo is like some kind of salsa you put on burritos or tacos. I don't know. I don't mess around with that stuff. I keep it simple. I go meat, cheese, rice, bread. Did I just call it bread? Tortilla? I keep it simple, but I know a lot of people like to throw a little Pico de Gallo on there. And of course, it's spelled like Gallo because in Spanish, you do the double L's as like Gallo. So very smart by Joey Gallo. That man hits bombs. This one high and deep to right. Oh my goodness. Where did it go? 
he walks, he strikes out. The three true outcomes in baseball. He also has a great player weekend name. All right, so now we are on to the top five here. This is where they really start to get good. Honestly, even from six, six on is just it's the best. So coming in at number five, another relief pitcher. This guy for the Chicago Cubs, Carl Edwards Jr. So Carl Edwards Jr., big lanky guy, great relief pitcher, coming in with the name String Bean Slinger. It not only looks great on the back of his jersey, but it's absolutely hilarious. Like I said, he's a lanky guy. He throws some heat. He really is a String Bean Slinger. Absolutely amazing name. If there was one of the jerseys I'd buy as a Chicago Cubs fan, that's number one right there. String Bean Slinger on the back of a baseball jersey. That's amazing. Gotta love Players Weekend. Number four is a Miami Marlins pitcher who, what do you know, in the bullpen, doing relief pitching, Harleen Garcia. Now, Harleen spelled J-A-R-L-I-N, just like Marlin. So keep that in mind when you see this name. But on the back of his jersey, he is going with Harleen the Marlene or Harlan the Marlin. Fantastic name. I saw this one and I wanted to I wanted to stand up and clap. You guys know I love to clap it up for people when they do things well. Harleen Garcia, well done. Well done, Harleen. You may not have a great year this year, the Miami Marlins. Not a lot of good baseball there, but they did something right when they gave you Harleen the Marlene on the back of your jersey. Well done. Coming in at number three, former Boston Red Sox, Jared Carabas of Barstool gave him this nickname. We're going to be going with Travis Shaw of the Milwaukee Brewers. On the back of his jersey, it reads Mayor DDC. Now you might be wondering, what is DDC? Well, that would be Ding Dong City. Jared Carabas gave him this title when he was in Boston. He was hitting bombs or ding dongs. And he gave him the title Mayor of Ding Dong City and is stuck ever since. Travis Shaw has given him credit for the nickname numerous times. Carabas is a beast. If you don't follow him, go ahead, give him a follow. One of the best baseball guys out there. And he likes to wind up Yankee fans. Who doesn't love that? But Mayor DDC on the back of his jersey just looks absolutely awesome. I'm sure Carabas is going to get one too. He loves that nickname. Down to the final two here. This was very tough. I think you guys might be able to predict number one and two. I don't know. Can you? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to number two right here, and it's going to be a Cleveland Indians pitcher by the name of Shane Bieber. I mean, you might be wondering, Bieber? Like Justin Bieber? Nope. Because on the back of his jersey, he put not Justin. That is absolutely incredible. That is up there with the likes when Kyle Seager wanted to put the other Seager on the back of his jersey. That goes up there with Kyle Seager putting Corey's brother on the back of his jersey last year. I mean, that was just, that's going to go down probably as the best one ever. But this, this right here is right up there with him. Because you know that Shane Bieber is always getting asked, are you related to Justin Bieber? Or do you know Justin Bieber? It's stupid questions. So not Justin on the back. That's, that, that's a good one. That's why it comes at number two. But there is one. That is just a little bit better. Now, you guys probably saw it. It was going around Twitter. It was going around Facebook, YouTube, everywhere social. Now, you guys might have seen this one already. It was going all around social media, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Another relief pitcher because the relief pitchers, they got nothing better to do in their time when the game's going on. They're just thinking of all these crazy things in their head. But this one is going to go out to Brad Boxberger, the Arizona Diamondbacks. We're not worthy of this. On the back of his jersey, he's going with two simple characters. He's going with the box emoji and the burger emoji, box burger. It is so on the nose that it is so good. It's so incredibly obvious, but the way he executed it makes it number one without a doubt. The man's having emojis on the back of his jersey. And we all know the emoji movie was the best movie to ever be released. So just by paying homage to that movie alone, by putting emojis on the back of his jersey, <sighs> It's gotta be number one. Legitimately, I would I would buy a Brad Boxberger jersey for the right price for Players Weekend because when when are you ever gonna find emojis on the back of a jersey anytime soon? That is something that's gonna be rare. It legitimately could be a collector's item years from now. So that's gonna be my top ten. Let's just go through it real quick again. We got Brad Boxberger at number one, Shane, not Justin Bieber at number two, Travis Mayer of DDC Shaw number three, Harleen the Marlene Garcia number four, Carl String Bean Slinger Edwards Jr., Joey Pico de Gallo at six. Paul Papa Frita Fry at 7, Brad Protein Shake Hand at 8, Dirty Craig Kimbrell at number 9, and number 10, bigger fella, Tommy Hunter. I'd love to know what your guys' favorite MLB Player Weekend names on jerseys is in the comment section down below, so let me know. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you enjoy the content. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. It helps you out so much getting recommended, all that good stuff. Also, guys, make sure you follow me on my socials, Twitter at GiraffeNeckMark, Instagram at GiraffeNeckMark. I tweet a lot about baseball on there. I'm posting always, so if you want to stay in the loop with all my stuff, make sure you follow me over there as well. Links in the description as always. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. YouTube recommends you watch this one right here, so give it a click. This is my most most recent upload and you can also click my face to subscribe here thank you guys for watching and i'll see you tomorrow we got mlb the show videos tomorrow yeah we're talking about immortals tomorrow it's gonna be good thanks for watching see you next time bye